It is a women's 115 pound matchup between Carolina Kovalkiewicz and Alexa Grasso. Drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have thrown that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes forward here tonight. Well, she's about as well-rounded as it gets, DC. And I know you didn't have the benefit of starting as a striker back in the day. First day she stepped in a gym, she was mixing all the different disciplines, and the results certainly speak to that commitment and dedication. It shows. It shows in her ability to fight high-level competition right away. She does not need fights to build her up. She's prepared to fight the wrestler. She's prepared to fight the grappler. She's prepared to do a kickboxing match with the best kickboxer. Her life has prepared her yeah. for these moments. All the training, all the sessions, all the private sessions has made her ready to compete for a title right away. Yeah, I would agree. And, and at least the early returns are that she looks comfortable and confident in every discipline and every martial arts situation. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Alexa Grossa! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, seven losses. She stands five feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Carolina Kovacavich! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Well, the tension and the buzz is palpable as this fight gets started. Interesting stylistic matchup. Your thoughts on what we might see? This is a big-time matchup between a fantastic striker and a great all-around mixed martial artist. Both of these women are extremely talented. Let's see who gains the advantage. Nice punch land over the top. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Grasso gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, the right hand is there for her. She blocked the punch. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Kovalkiewicz goes to the clinch here early in the fight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they are exchanging leather early. Big kick lands. Lands the right hand. And there she goes using her jab effectively yet again. Her opponent's got to raise that guard or this fight could end. Well, she's going to have to do something. I think she needs to move her head off the center line because hands go up, the jab goes to the body, then the jab goes to the head. If you start worrying too much about her jab on top, she'll just start pounding that jab right to your midsection, which, which then will just empty the gas tank. Big left hand lands upstairs. Oh, straight right. 
Going left. That was a jab. Battling for hooks. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Kovalkiewicz. Twenty-seven total strikes have now landed for Carolina Kovalkiewicz. Rosso gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, and she just continues to land that jab, keeping her opponent at distance. She's making this look like a video game. I mean, she's making it look like a video game. It's unreal to watch her pop that jab. It's like Joanna and Jacek before her. Fast moving. Jab always started everything, and tonight, this young lady is employing that same strategy. Nice strike. She missed with that jab. Oh, that's a good straight punch by her there. Nice combination of speed and power on that attempt. The speed and timing it takes to land a strike like this is beautiful. And she has that ability to do it multiple times a fight. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. Leg kick. Clinch. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find some air. Rosso gets caught with that punch. There she goes, landing that jab again. She might have a better jab than you can see. Oh, she's got a fantastic jab. I'm telling you, put me, to, put me to shame. I like to try to fight back. Taken down by Kovalkiewicz. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Going. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. While her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end, the ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Nice and up. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Beautiful strike. It's such a fast leg kick. She's seeing her head back there. This could be the end. She landed a massive uppercut that hurt her opponent very, very badly. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Real quick leg kick. Oh, she's got a good left hand and put it to good use there, DC. She's very accurate with that strike. Nice punch land over the top. Nice combination of strikes there by Grosso. Strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. All right, so there is the horn, so we will see another round. You thought maybe with that knockdown that that could have been the end. You thought it was over. People don't usually get up from those types of strikes. She took that big punch, continued to plod forward. But if she does not move her head, her night will be over very quickly. Second round underway. Grosso's punch to the body there doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. Oh, that right hand is on point. Grosso's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, you hate to be overly critical because she has landed some good shots, but really nothing in terms of combinations. Still. She's got to let it fly, man. She needs to let the combinations fly. She's got to find the confidence in knowing that all that repetition, all that work with her boxing coach is going to pay dividends inside of the octagon. 
Oh, now she's got that tie clinch. Appreciable damage could be coming. Nice kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice body kick. Oh, she blocks the punch. Kovalkiewicz gets in the clinch yet again. Get the turtle in that kick. Try to establish that jab. Now connects with a right. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Straight right hand, but she misses. 83 total strikes have now landed for Poland's Karolina Kovalkiewicz. While dipping just below 50% in terms of the connection rate, landing with 49% accuracy tonight thus far against Alexa Grasso. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here. Oh, she's going to go. Kovalkiewicz gets back up. Big kick land. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC, finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. Oh, nice strike landed there by Karolina Kovalkiewicz. Under two minutes here to go in round two. How good is that right hand? Again, she chooses to clinch here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, she missed with that right hand. Oh, that's a nice strike. Grosso's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. And she did not miss there. This could be the end. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Oh! Whoa! Fantastic fight by both of these women. High level striking, great cardio, great fight. Oh, she gets 10. Nice combination. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Clint with the right hand. Oh, that's a good strike there by Kovalkiewicz. Man, high volume of strikes in this round as she continues to land and pour it on. It's amazing that she has been able to maintain this aggression with her strength. Oh! Oh, maybe the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponent's a beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. One, two, one, one round. All right, so that's the end of the round, and you got to think at some point the blood becomes something that the fighter focuses on. The cut on the lip is not getting any better. Blood in and around that mouth area, and a definite source of adversity here as we hit this next round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that previous round, and she got knocked down, didn't see that strike coming. No, she didn't see it coming. She had taken a lot leading up to that. It wasn't one strike that hurt her. It was an accumulation of the damage she had taken that put her in that spot. She's tough, but let's see if she can turn the action around as we go forward. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. 
Alright, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, nice punch there by Grosso. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Spinning back fist. That was a thudding leg kick. Able to check the high kick. Back in the clinch now. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. It's a beautiful point. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the ball. Oh, can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, big left hook there. Good right here. Oh, she is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh, oh. significantly well to the left side. Yes. And she lands another punch there. And this was not a pre-existing cut that she came into the fight with. She caused it, and now she's targeting She caused it, and that is her handiwork. Landing a great strike caused the cut, and now she has a target to try to increase the damage on her way to trying to get a victory. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, so 146 total strikes have now landed for Carolina Kovalkiewicz. Oh, big knee! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? That's how you finish your fight. Oh! Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Grosso. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Oh! Huge right hand! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, no! Oh! Get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexa Grosso. Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to stand in front of her opponent and take one to give one. And when she gave one, it shut the opponent's lights out. Great job finding that.